thing. Is it a bad thing or is it a good thing? Well, I'm about to talk about it. Now, there's two different types of clickbait in my head. There's bad clickbait and good clickbait. Now, I'm going to go through each one. And personally, me, I don't think I clickbait at all. Like, you can probably not even have to watch my video to know exactly what I'm playing and what it's going to be about in the thumbnail and in the title. Because I'm pretty much an open book. Like, you can literally take little piece-by-piece -piece information from the title and the thumbnail and probably go ahead and commentate it for me and you'll probably get it word for word. But yeah, I don't think I clickbait, but there has pretty much almost every YouTuber clickbait nowadays. Because yes, it's the way to get noticed. It is the way to get noticed. Some people frown upon it, some people don't. And the reason why is because the pe some people that do it, do it the bad way, and some people that do it, do it the good way. Now the good way that I'm gonna say is basically when you you know put a title that you know basically you know it has like ooh new game mode and call of duty now that's kind of clickbait it may not you may not think about it but it really is because that you know that title is basically drawing you in to click on the video and listen to it now the thing that makes it a good version of clickbait is because well the video is talking about a new mode in call of duty now bad clickbait now if you were to put new game mode in call of duty can i cannot believe it um uh, you'll get aids if you don't watch that's basically one it's bad clickbait because one you're not going to get aids if you don't watch two you're probably going to believe that of course they're going to add a new mode in call of duty i mean shoot they add a new mode in almost every year but then what makes it the worst type of clickbait is these type of clickbaiters don't even acknowledge what they clickbaited about. Like, they could say, you know, new game mode in Call of Duty. And it's not even talking, it's a new game mode of them because maybe they've been playing Battlefield all their life. That That's the type of clickbait that's kind of dumb, in my opinion. And that's the scumbag is clickbait that everyone hates. So, personally, I think that there's a good clickbait and bad clickbait. And, you know, do YouTubers need to do it? I guess. Because to get noticed, yes. But... In my opinion, if you post good content, you really don't need to clickbait it. Like, you don't. You can do what I do. I guarantee, like, Jeff, actually, he kind of does what I do, actually. Well, I guess I could say I kind of do what he does. But, like, let's say Sprat. He basically does the same thing where all he does is just upload, you know, like, insane nuclear. And then, you know, has a thumbnail that says the same thing. And, well, that's what it's going to be about. No clickbait required. He basically just said the whole entire thing right there on the title and thumbnail so yeah so that's my opinion on you know the good youtubers because there's still a lot of youtubers that do it that way but then everyone's going to the clickbait style which doesn't matter to me but what i can consider bad clickbait as is just you know an old-fashioned rick roll you know they drawed you in with the title but then go ahead and rick roll you so that's clickbait and that's pretty much today's clickbait like today's bad clickbait but instead of rick roll it's just bad content I mean, that's my opinion on it. but go ahead and leave down in the comment section if you guys would like of your opinions on clickbait is there any such thing as good or bad clickbait in your guys's eyes and if so let me know but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did leave a like subscribe and you guys know the drill i will see you guys later